let's today guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure border gateway protocol bgp using cisco packet tracer so i'll open our google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we're doing uh, the last part of number 10 bgp routing protocol all right so without any further ado i'll open our notepad again to highlight the steps that we're going to follow to achieve this objective. So the first step is always to draw the necessary topology, we decorate and comment. So as you can see here, I have a topology consisting of how many routers? Three routers, two access layer switches and four computers. I have two LANs. Uh, the, the first LAN on the left, another one on the right. And you can see uh, the two routers are connected via a third router in the middle okay all right so we want to configure bgp so the first step always make sure that you draw the topology using 29 11 router and do the comments as i have done here here between this router and this router is this network this router and this router is this network and this lan is this network finally this lan is this network right okay so i go back to uh, the notepad Configure IP addresses to the routers and hosts. So guys, what I'm going to do is that you see this network here. I have to assign it to this interface and this interface such that this interface, let's start with this one. This one will get 10.10.10.1. Okay, should I start? Then when come on this other side, this one will get 20.20.1 should I start it? Such that this one gets uh, 20.2. Then this one gets uh, 10.2, right? All right. And to the interfaces that are connected to the respective LANs, for example, this one, you should get uh, 192.168.10.1. This one should get 192.168.20.1, okay? And they will hack us the default gateway of their respective LANs, okay? All right. So without any further ado, I'll begin uh, IP address configuration. And I'll check on the, these interfaces, gig, this gig00. And this is gig01. So gig00 should take 10, 10, 10, 1. This one should take 10, 10, 10, I mean 20, 20, 20, 2. Okay. All right. So when I come here, I do it very, very fast to save time. Always, always make sure you turn it fast. Okay. So I'm done uh, configuring IP address to the router's interface. So I'll proceed to configure host devices. So I have to make sure that the host devices have a default gateway of their respective router's interface IP address. So for example, this computer, the default gateway will be this one. This computer here, the default gateway will be the IP address of this interface. Okay. So I do it very fast to save time. All right, so we're done configuring IP address uh, in all the routers and the computers. So we go back to our notepad to check uh, the next step. The next step is to configure BGP. Uh, we specify the neighbor with autonomous system number. And finally, we advertise the directly connected networks. All right. So like the, uh, the guideline here says we need to configure BGP. Because this is uh, this the main objective of this video today. Configure BGP. You specify the neighbor with AAS. AASN. Which is autonomous system number. And then we advertise the directly connected networks. Right? Alright. So, when we are going to configure BGP, guys. Remember, this router here is like a bridge between this LAN and this one so we need to configure bgp in all the routers and we need to tell this router that its neighbor is this router we need to tell this router here that its neighbor is this one and we also need to tell the middle router that it has two neighbors this one and this one so, all right so when i click here we we'll come to c line Okay, so the first thing we do, we make the router aware that it's using BGP as the routing protocol. So we just say the command router BGP. So router BGP, autonomous, we write autonomous system number, which is number 20, okay, in this side, right? 
then we hit enter after writing the autonomous system number guys we give the router its id pgp router id for identification okay all right so we just say pgp uh, router id to be let's say 1.1.1.1 that's all and you hit enter right then we give the neighbor we tell uh, this pgp its neighbor so the neighbor should be the ip address of the next stop so the ip address of the next stop from this router is the ip address of this interface here which is gig 0 on the middle router gig 0 on the middle router you can see the ip address is 10 10 10 dot 1 so when you come back here we just say neighbor neighbor to be 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 okay then you say we remote us remote us the autonomous system number here which is 35 okay sorry 35 okay you give the neighbor which is the appearance of this interface and you specify its autonomous system number the autonomous system number of this uh, router here will be 35 okay and we eat it this router here currently it's it it only uh, it only have uh, one bgp neighbor okay which is this one so what we do now here is just to advertise the directly connected network so when we just say we just say network uh network uh let's start with this one 102.168.10.0 then you say subnet mask here we just say mask to be 255 255.255.0 then another network is this network which is we just say network uh 10.10.10.0 the directly connected network then we say mask the subnet mask is uh 255.255.255.252 because of slash 30 notation and we enter okay so i go to this router first before i can handle the middle route so i just click on the second router just in the like uh, just like in the first case, we just say router uh bgp then the autonomous system number here, which is 50. don't confuse with the autonomous system numbers because if you misplace uh, them uh it won't work all right so after specifying the router uh, bgp with the autonomous system number give the bgp router id so just say bgp router id to be let's say 2.2.2.2 okay then you specify the remote uh the the neighbor with the remote uh autonomous system number so the next hope from this router is the address of this interface so gig01 here is you can see it's 2020.1 so we just say uh the neighbor is 20.20.20.1 .20 and it has autonomous system number of 35 this router should be in a bgp autonomous system number 35 very simple then now we advertise the directly connected networks which is 2020 at 1268.0 20.0 okay all right now i start we just say network uh network uh, 12.168.20.0 with a separate mask of uh, 255.255.255.0 uh finally we will put the last network which is 10 uh, 20 20.20.0 20 20 uh with a separate mask of uh 255.255.255.252 exit and do it so we're done configuring bgp in this router in this router and this router here so let's finalize bgp configuration on this router so when you go to this router come to zli uh, enable uh, config t so let's make it uh, uh let, let's make the router aware that it's using bgp as the routing protocol and with which autonomous system number 35 okay just 35 don't forget and don't don't confuse the autonomous system numbers and you hit enter then you give the router id you just say router 
uh, BGP route ID, BGP route ID, route ID to be let's say 3.3.3.3 and you hit enter and now you start giving remote, uh, I mean the neighbors on this router it has two neighbors, one neighbor is this one, the other one is this one so the neighbor here should be the IP address of this interface so zero zero on this side you can see it's 10 10 10 2 so I come I come here and just say neighbor to be 10 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 then it's a remote us which autonomous system number is it in it is in autonomous system number 20 20 and you hit enter and guys you see this information here BGP 5 uh, adjacency neighbor 10 10 10 up so it's for it has already formed neighbor with this router okay all right so we have to tell this router that that there's another neighbor which is this one and to tell it that you have to extract the appearance of this interface and the autonomous system number here so the appearance of that interface you can see it's 2022 all right so when i come here uh when i come here i just change this to 50 then i come here i change this to 20 uh 20 20 and i hit enter and you can see the information here it has formed adjacency with this router all right okay so finally we need to advertise the directly the directly connected networks on this router so which networks this one and this one, and this one only so when i come here just say network a network 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot um 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot uh let's say um zero okay the standard mask of uh 255 to 255 dot 255 dot 252 and you hit enter then you change this to 202020 dot zero okay all right exit and do right so if i can just say this and and i can just say this show ip uh bgp uh neighbors uh you can see the first neighbor bgp neighbor with that one okay which was this router okay 1.1.1 was id of this which router this one then let me scroll to see if it has another neighbor well uh where is another neighbor in short just a minute just a minute um hmm. okay there is another neighbor you can see here with 20.20.20 and uh the router id was 2.2.2 which was the pure desk of which was the route id of this route okay and also i can just say uh show ip bgp a summary you can see this information neighbors it has two neighbors okay and all that information you can see the autonomous system number is 20 and 50 right okay so it's the time that we test our communication let's say we want to ping this pc which is 20.20 .20 or 20.10 so we just click on this one and uh, you can see this one is 10.10 .10, okay all right so i uh, want to ping 20. Uh, ping uh, 12.168.20.10 first so we have to just give it some time it will ping because we've configured a routing protocol successfully which is pgp right all right so we can also try 20.20 it will ping so guys basically i really uh, appreciate for watching this video and i believe this video is all right so guys i believe this video is really helping now to configure border gateway routing protocol to advertise uh routes in the network so i'll mark number 10 as done so when we meet next let's start with uh access controllers thank you so much please subscribe to my channel like this video share with friends 